Uh, three words uh, is really not a lot to describe myself, but uh, I'll try anyway, uh, I guess, open, uh, somehow trying to be innovative or in this, it's not three words, but, uh, but we are lawyers, we never say three words only, and um, a bit stubborn as well. I'm Andreas Glarner, I'm part of the MME blockchain team. When he first moved in four years ago, we, we didn't know what blockchain was at all, so the first client had to explain that to us. We asked, like, block what? Uh, and now uh, we've soon realized it's, it's a technology which may have a, a big potential for the future and may change quite a lot on how our business work. And we, we decided to invest in that and decided to build up a team. And now we're around 15, 20 people advising on blockchain projects. One of the projects which I'm an advisor on is, is Melonport. Melonport is really it's one of the very innovative products and um, the, the software they're developing is, has the potential to innovate and disrupt to a certain extent the, the, the way funds are being structured and managed now, allowing more efficient, more transparent and more secure relationship in, in transactions and other uh, interaction fields be between different users. It allows um, to cut out intermediaries, you cut out middlemen in many transaction possibilities, which raises efficiency. I, I guess one of the main challenges in, in the blockchain industry, and especially block fintech applications, is, is how regulations will develop and, and be applied in the future in the different jurisdictions. On one side, regulators trying to apply their sets of rules and, and some of being more conservative, others see it as a, as a business case. So the smaller jurisdictions like Gibraltar or Malta, they, they're really trying to set up new regulations to be, be fast and attractive as a jurisdictions for this type of businesses and startups to, to move to their jurisdictions. Other ones uh, are still a bit struggling. I really hope we can overcome them as fast as possible. Uh, to give more security and, and a clear regulatory framework for, for new companies. I'm, I'm very excited to be working with Malport. I think they have a, a great team and an uh, interesting project.